proper intro. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue our much awaited series that you've been waiting for forever. I know you have because, uh, well, frankly, I might not even remember the Japanese. I think we were at chapter one or chapter two or something. Um, so here's us walking around uh, this nice little village that was previously attacked by some kind of evil wizard thing. Um, hello. Oh yeah, yeah, let's... Um... Wait, I thought this was... This used to say revisit a lesson? Oh. Never mind then. What would I like to do? Yeah, let's do some new lessons. Great! <laughs> I have something special prepared for today's lesson. But before we study some more hiragana, we're gonna learn some Japanese vocabulary. <gasps> Alright. We're going to learn all the Japanese vocabulary. To give you a break from learning hiragana every lesson, we're going to mix it up and learn vocabulary every now and then. We'll cover ten new words each session. As we go, we'll demonstrate how to read and pronounce each word. You will see how to write each word in hiragana, based on the hiragana we know so far. I'll show you our first word and demonstrate how these vocabulary lessons work. Hi! So, um, the first line in blue is how to write the Japanese word in romaji. Romaji is a system designed to transcribe Japanese sounds using the English alphabet. Okay, right. Romaji is very common, and there's a good chance you've come across it before. Words that are borrowed from Japanese use romaji. Think of words like tsunami, karaoke, sensei, etc. It's super simple and easy to read. As you learn more hiragana and gain an understanding of the syllables used in Japanese, you'll be able to write words in romaji as well as hiragana. For the vocabulary we are learning, you can use the romaji reading until uh, we learn all the relevant hiragana, which brings me back to the next line, written in black. This is the hiragana reading of the word. As lessons get more advanced and you learn more hiragana, these words will eventually entirely be written in hiragana. So, on the right there, we have the symbol for I. The, uh, we don't have the symbols for the ha symbol. Uh, or characters. Or uh, vowels or sounds. Where there are symbols we haven't learned yet, I'll just display romaji instead. So you see, hi, we haven't yet learned the hiragana for ha yet, but we have learned I. The dashes in between are just to symbolize the gap between each syllable. You don't actually write these in hiragana or romashi. And finally, our third line in orange is English. You know, in case you didn't happen to know what English is. So next, I'll discuss how to pronounce it properly. It sounds like hi or hi. Remember how i sounds like i? The word hi is pronounced hi. But since Japanese is a language spoken at a rapid pace, the syllables tend to merge. A general rule of thumb when spe speaking Japanese is that the sounds of syllables do not change, regardless of what syllable they follow or proceed. We all know that English words can change pronunciation in strange ways and may not even be pronounced as they are written. However, in Japanese, every syllable has a specific pronunciation and it's the same in every word it appears in. There are a couple of little exceptions, but nothing to be concerned with at this stage. Would you like to hear the pronunciation of hi again? Sure! Hi! 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 Alright. Twitch says I'm online. Okay. Alright, so let's continue our lesson. Yes. Yeah. Which means no. It consists entirely of vowels. I'm starting to see how hiragana is not a practical language to be written in. Hmm. When dealing with repeated vowels, you draw out the length of the sound. It's not quite the same as repeating the vowel twice. Listen carefully. Yeah, let's listen. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's look at our next Watashi. word. Watashi. 
is the uh, simple word for I, or Japanese word for I, for referring to yourself. It's not a substitute for the letter I. You use watashi often in conversation when talking about yourself. It is a formal and polite word. There are other more casual words that refer to yourself in Japanese, but these are saved for chatting with your friends and family. Watashi. Watashi. Ready for word four? Anata. For referring to you. Anata. Referring to this person you are speaking to. You can, anata. Uh, you can use this word in conversation when talking with um, about your conversation partner. However, it can be considered rude to use it in the wrong context. Most of the time you refer to people by their name, even when it's talking directly to them. It sounds weird in English, but in Japanese it's normal. Anata. Anata. Ready for word five? Um, the rest of the words in this lesson are for objects used when studying. Look around now. Hopefully you have most of these things Ooh. handy. Pen. Who knew? It's borrowed from English. It's an easy word and even pronounced the same way. When you write words borrowed from other languages in Japanese, you don't normally use hiragana. Instead, you would use a, uh, a set of characters called katakana, which are specifically for foreign words. However, since this software is about learning hiragana, we'll write borrowed words like pen in hiragana and romashi. Sure. Pin. Pin. All right. Word six. I should listen more closely and not be saying like word five, word six, and such. Impitsu. Uh, for Impitsu. pencil. It's a bit of a mouthful, so listen to the pronunciation a few times and practice saying it slowly. Impitsu. 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 And a pizza. Alright. Skue. For desk. Skue. Isu. Isu. Wait, I've heard a very similar word once. Isu. At least a word that's Isu. one that's pronounced similarly. Huh. On. 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 For book. All right. Noto. 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 For notebook. So there's on for book. Noto for notebook. Noto. 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 All right. Ah, uh, sure. Let's save our progress. How oh, great! It's gonna be great. Uh, it's time to learn our third set of hiragana characters. There's five new characters to learn in this lesson. I'll go through each character individually and teach you how to write it and pronounce it. At the end of this chapter, we will have a quiz, so do your best. The characters we are learning in this lesson are sa, shi, su, se, sol. A i u e o. Sa. Si, su, se, so. I have a feeling I've tried this before. I don't know why my save file doesn't indicate this, but it's good that we're doing, getting to do it again. Sa. This is sa. It's a consonant followed by a vowel and makes a single syllable. Sa. All right, let's practice writing it. So stripe across, stripe diagonally, stripe under. One more time. Across, diagonally, and then under. And you see this fluid connected character here. Um, tilt the horizontal line properly. Like, uh, I don't remember the name of that other character. The number of strokes varies depending on the font. Use the form in the animation as your best practice, so don't connect the strokes as your best practice. Um, ooh, sounds like one of my machines has gone a bit haywire. Um, let's watch the writing animation while I try to fix that. I think I know which machine that is. Um, so one second while I try to fix that. I hope that's the one in the corner. Yeah, it sure sounds like it. That should fix it. 
If that doesn't fix it, we're going to have an issue. All right. Let's continue our lesson. Chi. Chi. It's a consonant followed by a vowel. It makes a single syllable. You pronounce it as chi. Let's practice writing it. So we had a word earlier, watashi, as in I. This is the shi uh, hiragana. Yeah, so it's just kind of in an L shape. Some tips. The character is made in just one stroke. The vertical line is straight, but make sure to curve it correctly at the bottom. Si. Let's get ready for the next character. Si. Tsu. A consonant followed by a vowel. and makes up a sil single syllable. Let's practice writing it. So we cross, and then we do the vertical, and a Q, and over. So this is kind of shaped like a T. Um, but this is SU. Cross, down, and around. It's written in two strokes. The tail at the bottom comes slightly after the loop. Um, right, let's get ready for the next character. That's it. It's a consonant followed by a vowel and makes up a single syllable. Pronounces this as se. Se. All right. So we cross. Then oh, then our rightmost character, and then this L character. Or glyph, rather. One more time. So cross, and then this way, and then that way, and this is se. The vertical line on the right has a slight tail formed when your pen lifts. So. So. It's a consonant formed by a vowel. It makes up a single syllable. So. Let's practice writing it. Alright, so this is so. I guess this is what... <laughs> well, I shouldn't make jokes, but, like, the shape of that kind of reminds me of Zoro slashing a sword against a wall. But then does this like the extra curly Q thing. Silly American. Make this character with just one stroke. Make sure to curve the last part properly. Sa, si, se, so, no. Sa, she, so, se, la. Uh, sa, she, su, se, and so are all quite commonly used, so be sure to memorize them. Sure, let's save our progress. What's the worst that could happen? I'm going to show you some common Japanese words written entirely in hiragana. Sound them out, using the knowledge you have so far. Say the words aloud, and you'll probably get the meaning right away. All right. Here's our first Japanese word. You know these characters now. Can you guess what the word is? I happen to remember this, even though it's been like six months or something since we last played this. Um, so the character on the right is she, and the character on the left is su. So it's a sushi. Sushi. That's a Japanese word that's known in many cultures. Sushi, sushi is a popular dish made with raw fish. If you haven't tried it, give it a go. It'll certainly enhance your appreciation of Japanese. Here's our second Japanese word. It's a tough one. There's one character here we haven't learned yet. Can you spot it? Oh, that's right. So last time we learned the ka, although the K series of uh, hiragana. Um. So this one is karaoke, if I remember right. Second one. No, this is this is one isn't the karaoke. This is the character for the letter N. Let's see. Let me try this again. Um. So 
the one on the right is E. Um, so you have an N there. And I'm trying to remember, we just learned five glyphs. Oh, this is Sensei. Sensei. Yeah, that's right. Se is the, the glyph on the left. Sensei. It's a word you've probably heard a lot in movies and in television. Sensei means teacher or master in Japanese. Sensei is very commonly used in karate when addressing your master. All right. Here's our third Japanese word. It's another tough one. <laughs> There's one character we haven't learned yet. Can you spot it? Um, I think this is the one... I spoiled it last time. I said karaoke for this, the last word. I think that's what this is here. Even though we've not learned um, the syllables that start with the letter R in English, or the sound R. Uh, the rightmost one is definitely ke. Um, the second right is o, so this is karaoke. Yeah. So there we go. It's a fun singing activity. Maybe you've visited a karaoke club or sung karaoke at home before. Karaoke. Karaoke. It uh, originated from Japanese. I actually did know that. Thanks to a wonderful television show. You know the one. But anyway, um, that's all for our Japanese words this lesson. Once we've learned some more hiragana, we'll learn some new words. Do you remember our friend, the Dakuten? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, this guy lets us change the sound of hiragana. You'll remember we used it on the that series to turn... Uh, turn a hard K into a G sound. Here's some good news. We can use Dakuten on our newly learned um, series. Um, adding Dakuten the characters we learned trans softens the S to a Z. Okay. Yeah. So, Sa becomes Za. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Za. Yeah. Practice yeah. writing it. This is G. This character is an exception to the set, as it does is not a Z syllable. It's this is G. Red, uh, right G as normal, and end Dakutan marks in the position shown in the image above. G. 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 Practice writing G. This is Zhu. or Zhu. 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 All right. That's really hard to hear from the game. Z. Practice writing it. This is Z. Write Z normally and then so forth. Practice writing it. This is Z. Write Z. Write so as normal and then add your docketed marks on the position shown above to make Z. We've, finally, we've now finished the set. From this lesson, you've learned a total of 10 new hiragana. One second, I am going to... Uh, you've obtained study guide 3. Use this from the items menu to quickly revise the lesson. That wraps up this lesson. Great work. One second, my PC's gone haywire over there. I'm gonna go reboot it. <clears throat> Apparently, I've got some bad news. Um, that wasn't the noise that I thought it was. That that fan noise is some... It's not um, the server I run in the corner of the room, nor is it um, any kind of external device. That fan noise that keeps clicking, and you might not be able to hear it, 
I can certainly hear it. Um, it's something internal to my PC, so I'll have to figure that out sometime. Let me guess. You're not going to quiz us. You know it. <laughs> Chin up, Leon. I remembered your name. We're going to revise what we've learned, or we'll get our butts kicked next time we go uh, to battle here at Agana Warriors. Eric's right. Frankly, I want to learn as I can... Uh, I want to learn as much as I can as soon as possible, so I can give Nobuto a piece of my mind. All in due time. Let's focus on our quiz. Question one. What is this character? You just learned it. It is she. Well done. What is this character? That is Zo, or So. Well done. What is this character? Um, I believe that's all. Oh. Yeah. Even though that was lesson one, we haven't visited that in forever. What is the character for the English sound Z? So you take Su, and then you add um, the Daituke to it. What is the character for the English sound sa? Um, now I know they're making this kind of obvious in that some of these have daituka, some of them don't. And they're using that to help you differentiate between these. Um, and this, um, this is one of these that we just learned, wasn't it? Yeah, we just traced that out on our sketch pad, or notebook. Let's take a break from our study for now, head into town, and relax. If you need to stock up on items or equipment, be sure to do so. Might be a good idea now to look around for side quests. Side quests are optional tasks you can complete for rewards. Also, each side quest will teach you more Japanese. Try talking to people in town with exclamation icons above their heads. Be sure you check the inn and the tavern, too. When you're finished exploring the town, come find me and we will continue our study. Alrighty, so where am I? Oh, right, we went off to the right. Um, so we should go to the tavern and to the inn and talk with people at exclamation points. Misaki's been teaching me Japanese. It's been so much fun, but so far I've only learned a couple of greetings. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll teach you the greetings I've learned. You can use them with people around town. Alrighty. Alright, here's what I've learned so far. Um, again, I was not expecting, expecting it to speak so quickly. Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. Oh, I see. Yeah, ohayo gozaimasu. And, yeah, let's listen here again. Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. Gozaimasu. Um, I, I've certainly heard this in many an anime. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Everybody's heard this one. Konnichiwa. And it's daytime. Konbanwa. Huh. And it's evening. Konbanwa. 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 All right. That's all she's learned. Wow. That's not an awful lot to have learned, but I guess she's very excited for having learned the things. And she's very good at instructing us. Uh, they will greet you in Japanese, in, or English, and you need to respond in Japanese. Good evening. Alright, Pombao. Great, you got it. Um, good morning. Ohio. Ohio Gazamasu. <laughs> sleepy, sleepy. Alright, what do we have here? Howdy, what's the latest? Well, that was. These are our teammates. Good day. Uh, konnichiwa. Yeah! We are the greatest at greeting people. We're totally gonna remember all those things from a single use of each greeting. You did it! I'm so proud of my first student. To wrap up, I'll teach you how to say goodbye. Sayonara. 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 I wonder how much of that is actually spoken by a voice talent, and how much of that is just generated. Because everybody here says that sayonara. And I get that I, Japanese is meant to be spoken quickly, but um, I wonder. Obtained 500 bridge tokens. No, just kidding. 500 yen. 
Five bonus points. Yeah! Racking up those bonus points. Mom says it's super dangerous to leave the village right now, so just don't, okay? But I'm saving up all my money to leave the village someday. I've hidden my life savings somewhere super secret. You'll never find it. Uh, so much to do today. I'm still cleaning up for a mess from that musician a few weeks ago. If you don't want to help me, then chew. Wait. Did I say I didn't want to help? I don't remember having said that. Um, so we're just going to inspect each little thing here. Because... I'm just a lowly snowman. Please leave me be. Oh, you're really going. Don't go. Um, okay, that's weird. Even by standards of what I know of Japanese. Which admittedly might not be representative of Japanese culture as a whole, but... Um, you dig around the vase and find something. Yeah, that's his life savings. You feel kind of bad for taking it. But not really, because he told you, um, well, that you're never going to find it. I can't find the money I hid in a vase nearby. Where did it go? That was my entire life savings. Oh no. We can't even give it back to him. Like, I can't put it back in the vase either. I feel kind of bad for taking it, but not really, because he kind of told me you'll never find it, so... Anyway, wait, what? We have a talking dog here. The name's Steve. Pleasure to meet you all. I mightn't be the wisest old dog in town, but I can teach you all a few tricks. Actually, no, I cannot. I'm a dog. Carry on. I gotta say, this is like the best conversation I've seen in a game. Just a random speaking dog that decides that it can't teach you tricks. Like, that was in several ways unexpected. Just saying. I love food. I adore it. I'm very lucky that Miss Misaki has been introducing me to delicious Japanese cuisine. Wait. Miss Misaki, the lady who's teaching us Japanese. What's with this village? Am I missing something here? Itadakimasu. 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 All right. There'll be three rounds. At the start of each round, I'll tell you the name of one of my favorite dishes. The chef will bring out some plates, and you need to guess which one contains my favorite. First round. Takoyaki. 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 It's dried up. Dried. It's diced octopus cooked Takoyaki. in butter. Um. Okay. Diced octopus cooked in butter. Oh man, I want to eat like the sugar rice ball thing in the center. At least I'm pretty sure. Um. <sighs> okay. The leftmost thing looks like some sort of pastry. The le rightmost thing... Why... I know they mentioned that it's cooked in butter. It's gotta be C, because that's the only thing that appears to have been cooked in butter. But man, that, that dish in the center looks so... Um, exciting to me. Um, but that's okay. Soba. Soba. It's a noodle dish Soba. served cold. Um, wait. So, really? Um, I mean, I've seen ramen. Um, not that as an American I have a great appreciation for ramen, although I hear it can be quite excellent. But I believe the cold... Um, this year is the center one. But I could have sworn that, like, I've heard, like, other names for such dishes. Or, no, Soba is the name that was given to this in the Ace Attorney series. Sashimi. Sashimi. 
It's raw awesome. sliced fish. Um, so we know the center one is sushi, right? And the right one is, I don't know the name for it. Obviously it's some sort of salmon that's not sliced. Or maybe that's not salmon. I don't know. Um, but sashimi definitely corresponds to the first of these. Yeah, we got a chef's apron. Wait, can I relearn those words? Because I just to Okay, thank you. Takiyaki, dried octopus and batter. Not in butter, in batter. Okay. Or diced octopus and batter. Cold noodles or soba. Sashimi is raw sliced fish. Um, gotta say, I've had teriyaki before and it's excellent. I've not had occasion to have takiyaki, but um, I've heard some people act quite excited about it, but I've not myself had it. I love refreshing drinks. Miss Misaki has been re introducing me to delicious Japanese beverages. You look thirsty. Won't you join me for a drink? All right, let's drink. Kanpai. Kanpai. At least I I knew at least this much. Kanpai. Um. Kanpai. Wait. Yeah, that's got to be generated, because that's not how I've heard it pronounced, but that's okay. I, I ordered some drinks a little while ago, but my waiter hasn't brought me anything. I have an idea. Why don't you visit the inn and see if there are any drinks there? Here, I'll write down my order. Show this to the innkeeper and bring back the drinks. Can we talk to everybody else, though? Some people in this world will tell you that you can't do something or other. To those people... All you need to say is, thus, I can and I will. Your words are only as good as your actions. Do your best and succeed where others say you will fail. It is with this success you will attain happiness. Hello. I speak in good English, yes? You would never guess that I was born in a non-English speaking country, yes? I practice my English every day. Sometimes I practice twice. <sighs> Giggle. Oh, really? Wait. Wait, wait. Is she giggling because he keeps saying all these things? Oh. Okay. I just sighed an exasperation at, like, you're not going to flatter me, even though... Oh. <laughs> this is the kitchen. Get out of here. All right. Can I pick up all the things on the side here, or take a look at them, or interact with them in any way? No. Can I, like, take a seat at a table, or at a table for four, can we take a seat and order stuff? Nope. Looks like we're going to visit the inn and continue some sort of fetch quest here. See if they got drinks at the inn. Alright. Oh. How are you doing? Hello, Whippersnapper. What brings you here today? Might an old geezer like myself ask you a question? Do you know how to ask somebody's age in Japanese? No. Well, I can teach you. How old are you? All right. If we break down the sentence, you can translate the meanings. Nansai means what age, but it isn't specifically a question. To form a question in Japanese, you use deska at the end of the sentence, and there's no question mark used. So by adding together nansai deska, we get what age are you? What age are you is a valid phrase in English, but how old are you is more natural and common, so it's a rough but valid translation. Now, answering that question is a tad more difficult. To do so successfully, you'll need to know how to say different numbers in Japanese. I'm sure you will learn these at a later date. In written Japanese, you can use the same digits you're familiar with in English. Let's say you're 21. When somebody asks you how old um, you are, you would answer 21 side to su. Wait, deska refers to, uh, I'm asking questions, sai desu. Sai refers to, I thought watashi was a way to refer to uh, yourself. 
I'm not sure what Psi refers to. Um, oh, years? No. Yeah, how many? Oh, wait. What's the number of... What's age? Or, I'm sorry, non-psi refers to how old are you or... Um, yeah. He's not going to tell us how old he is. Ooh, we got Ramune. Man, that is good stuff. That is really good stuff. I've once had the occasion to have it. It was fantastic, and I, I haven't really had the occasion to celebrate with that sort of fancy beverage for a while. But um, I have my favorite sorts of beverages, and oh no, he dropped a slice of pizza. Can't eat another bite, but I can't go back home either. Oh no. It's all he has left in the world, and he dropped the final slice of pizza. That's horrible. I wonder, can I... Uh, can I pause the game here? Um, I want to change, uh, if I may, uh, the music volume. It's a bit overpowering. Hopefully that'll be better. Hello, dear. Oh, you want some drinks? Let me see what you need. Ah, yes. I think I have all these. Just a moment. Here you go. Enjoy. A set of drinks. Oh, you're not even gonna... Okay, I guess we're gonna learn our lesson back from the fellow over at, um... Uh, whatever that was. Can we say hi to you? Many moons have passed since these old bones stood on dry land. As a sailor, you ask? N ah, nay. Just a humble merchant from the swamp. Oh, I, I can walk back... I can retrace my steps and not be trapped. How fortunate. Alright, I suppose we should do the honorable thing and return here with the beverages instead of just walking off with them. Tempting as that is. You got the drinks. Huzzah. Now let me teach you about these wonderful concoctions. Lemonade. Oh. It's a bit like lemonade. lemonade. Comes in a glass bottle sealed with a marble. You need to pop the marble out to drink. Matcha is a popular style of green tea. Matcha. It's high in antioxidants and quite good for you. Matcha is brewed and served in elegant tea ceremonies. Oh. Wait, is there not a more vulgar form of it that's just served more commonly? That's pretty cool. Kohi. Kohi. It's the pronunciation Kohi. for coffee. It's very popular in Japan. You can even find it in cans. This is true. I've heard of that. These are sold in shops and vending machines and can be served cold or hot. And that's all the drinks. Thank you for sharing with me. Dude, we got fresh coffee. If only I liked coffee. Um, so. Have we interacted with everything in the village here? I mean, we've interacted with one of the dogs. Oh man, I, he's really going to guilt trip me for that for all time can't just let it go. Alright. Oh, it's the same dog. Okay. Very well. Um, hello again. What would you like to do? Um, let's see. Now I could go to the right to continue the journey. The game did mention the possibility of looking for side quests. Now I exited north. Oh, never mind. I don't have a destination in mind. I think the ruins are the next destination, but, um, let's see, and if I exit right, is that also going to depart me from the village? Yeah. I think this is the path we went out on last time. So, um, uh, sorry, there's also our fun little study here in this tent. Um... I'm sorry, I'm confusing that. Where was our study taking place? As far as I know, we haven't seen a house or a hut or anything like that where we could study. Welcome. Ever since dangerous Hiragana warriors started roaming the land, I've set up shop in this village. 
Selling weapons and armor for protection. If you see anything you like, please let me know. Um, yeah, I'll take... Oh! Oh, there is an inventory of things. Just kidding. I was going to mock you for not having anything. Um... A thick cloak to protect... How much... Oh, I got 48.49 yen. Yeah, let's just buy all the Ramune. <laughs> Wait, how many revives do we have? We got three. Um, a wide brim hat. Oh, that would be so stylish. A traveler's cloak to protect against harsh weather. Oh, I can see all my character's statistics, can't I? Now, at this phase, I'm not really taking a lot in the way of damage. Uh, hatchet. That's pretty expensive. Um, quarter staff. It's plus five. Spear. Wow, a lot of these things seem pretty effective. A why Waki I shot a sword sword used by a samurai as a second blade. Well, that's pretty cool. I want to pick some weapons so I'm not, like, spending all day in the fights, but at the same time, I'm not sure what to take. Um... So that's plus 16. Here I could get a hatchet for plus 24. Um, for Eric. Yeah, I guess we should... I just care about the delta, I think. Oh, I see. It does plus 30. And you can compare that to each of your uh, character's individual stats. Yeah, and I have to be sure to equip my stuff. So, to actually perform the equipping operation... Oh, I have to select a character and then look at my inventory? Really? Okay, we're gonna optimize for each character. And then take a closer look after having done the optimization. Accessory fresh coffee. Nice. I approve. Alright. Um, Alright, so now having equipped everything, now we're going to purchase stuff. Specifically some weapons so it doesn't take me all day fighting things. Yeah, we're going to purchase a hatchet for Eric, because I have none in my possession, and now I have one. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, so, so we've already got given Eric a thing. Leon, we could get plus five. Here, we could get something for Claire. This is probably best that I get this for Leon. Because that's a plus five. Alright. Be sure to equip any weapons. Alright, and it's a shame I can't do that from... Well, okay, whatever. Also, I probably should have sold the item and purchased more items and stuff, but... Whatever, um... So is Misaki that we got? No, it was... Claire. No, it was Eric? Yeah, we got a hatchet. And then we can offer to sell some uh, equipment. Um, leather gloves, we don't need. Fence post. And the wooden axe for chopping firewood, we don't require. Uh, this cloth shirt, just this plain shirt is no longer required. Wait, we can sell key items? Really? What the hell's with that? I can also sell... No, I can't sell my study guides. I was gonna say, that was really weird, that if I could sell those. Um, let's see, is there any more... I have 1849. Um, maybe I should purchase some armor of some sort. Gotta min-max this, you know? So, a large and shady hat. Get a buckler, a baseball cap. 
Okay, so I could purchase either several baseball caps or a wide brim hat. Um, wait, could I... This is interesting. Um, a buckler. I could get two bucklers or a wide brim hat. These are plus four a piece. Wait, so I've got... That helps Leon. Yeah, let's just purchase... Oh wait, I can actually buy four of these. And they help everybody. Alright, so let's go equip our stuff again. Equip! You, optimize. Good. Equip you... Equip you... And equip you. There we go. Save again. Alright. <sighs> I think we're ready to journey. Whoa! Not there. Just kidding. We want to go to the right. Talk with our Miss Misaki here. Um, and let's continue. How is your day in town? You must be ready to continue. Have you completed any side quests yet? When you complete side quests, you'll earn bonus points. See this crystal <laughs> next to me? This is the bonus crystal. You can spend your bonus points here. Talk to the crystal and you can exchange 10 bonus points to level up your characters, making them stronger. This is a good idea uh, if you're having difficulty with battles. Um, you can make your characters take less damage by buying them new armor. Um... Great, and it appears I'm one step ahead of the game again. That's okay. Um, head north out of town to view the world map. We want to visit Sunnyvale Farm next. Yes, I will take cheats. Alright. Yeah, let's do it. Everyone gained a level. Let's do it again. Nice. Only because I'm impatient. I assume that if I waited longer, maybe it would somehow be beneficial to wait longer and we could use the levels more productively if we're at a higher level or something like that. But, um... Alright, where's Sunnydale Farm? It's this one all the way on the right. By right, I mean left. Oh no. We're going to get caught in this storm. No, I can't get these clothes wet. They're too valuable. No one cares about your clothes, jeez. Everyone, look over here. That's pretty amazing. Such a maze. There's a farmhouse up ahead. I bet we could take shelter there. Let's go! Wait, do I have a run button somewhere? A run button would be so nice at a time like this. Um... Iron Knuckles. Alright, that's good. I should probably equip those, right? <sighs> Alright, we got a fight. We're gonna answer. The one on the left is... she? Uh, no, it's definitely she. I'm just gonna keep saying she, because I'm pretty sure that's correct. And uh, that'll give me some time to try to remember what our other S syllable is. <laughs> this is the problem with queuing up your attacks in this. Oh! This is the problem with queuing up your attacks in this way. Um, I believe that's sick. I think that is. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm gonna go with se twice, and if somehow that were wrong, then... Um, yeah, I don't know. It's gotta be se. Yeah, so I got it right. Gotta enjoy that positive reinforcement.
Yeah! Level up! There we go. Alright. Again, the music is quite, kind of overpowering. Um... Wait. Background music volume. What's ME volume? I don't remember. Um, but that's okay. There's nothing in that barrel. Alrighty. I just remember being super flustered by trying to get through this area and having all these things continue attacking me as I'm trying to make it make progress. Alright, alright. Um We wanna answer some of these. Um So This one on the right here is Ga. Whoops. Uh, I believe the center one is Ko. I think. I could be very much wrong with that. Ooh, that's not Ga. Alright. Oh, that's not good. We could be here a while, guys. <laughs> also, that's not cool. Okay, so... I am doing fantastically here. Um, we're gonna be here a while. While I remember what these words are. Or these syllables are. Oh my goodness. That is embarrassing. It's been a long time since we've done this game. Um... Hmm. Mm -mm. Have to keep moving. Have to keep picking things. Um. Let's see. Maybe this is right. This is so terribly embarrassing. And the upper left one... What's their upper left one? I haven't seen that syllable in a long time. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Ooh, okay, I guess that incorrectly, too. My goodness, I need to spend more time writing hiragana. Because clearly I have not retained any of this information at all. That's quite embarrassing. Alright, so... Oh, can I hear the syllables? No, I cannot. Although, allowing that kind of noise would help me quite a bit. Um, do we have an item that, like... I can't use my dictionary in battle. That's unfortunate. That's a lost opportunity right there. Although I guess it's important that the game punish um, errors in some way. Um, well... This commences the part of the live stream where I just try to remember. I know remember we were taught things. A i u e o, kaki kukeko. And today we learned the sa series. And then here we have some daituke marks on our characters. I'm fairly confident that one of the upper left uh, was part of our Ga series. I just don't remember which uh, syllable that was. But if I can at least knock out one of these three syllables, it'll make the remainder of the guessing considerably simpler. Uh, gu. Uh, ge. 
Hopefully we'll get it correctly through enough guesses. Oh, it is Ga. All right. So some of these guesses transfer over to the other syllables. Which is, I guess that kind of works in my favor here. In a situation where I don't remember multiple syllables that could actually work to my favor. So, thankfully our characters aren't going to fail in this battle, but... Um, Alright, so our center syllable... That was not one we learned today, it was part of what we t earlier learned. Um, I just don't even remember if that's a vowel or consonant. I know we saw E today, the vowel, the letter I. We saw that today. Um, so it's going to be one of these other vowels, I think. Unfortunately, my memory is just completely failing me at this point. So, let's figure this out. Alright, so that's three failures in a row. Huh. Is that a consonant sound? I wonder. Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so let's see. Let's focus on this last syllable. We're going to have to go back and revise all of our lessons after this, because this is a very embarrassing performance. Oh boy. How many times can I miss that? I wonder. Ay ay ay. Um I'm not gonna surrender though. Um I know that, um, I probably should surrender at this point, because honestly I'm not doing any good retaining these syllables, but perhaps the failure will at least implant, um, some memory of these particular syllables in my mind. Is that not a... no, the fact that's not a Daituka mark there. Um... So, can I figure out what this leftmost, this really simple syllable is? I didn't think it was one of them that we learned today, but evidently... Um... I'm just completely blanking. And it would make sense that these characters would be the ones, um... that we just learned. Um, you would think... Hmm. How many of these do I have to try? Certainly I've used more than should be necessary. I'm also forgetting what it is that I previously attempted here, which is not helping.
ideally you would attack this um just very procedurally. This is ku. That syllable up there is the syllable ku. Alright. I guess that I haven't seen very many words that have ku in them. Um... Uh, what else do I want to try while I'm here? I thought I tried this, but I'm not entirely confident. I want to say, I thought this was one of the O sounds. Oh, that is the letter O. Or syllable O. There's just so many variations on syllables that we've learned at this point, and I've not been studying them uh, regularly. To put it mildly, because we last approached this game a number of months ago, so my memory has um, failed me here. To put it mildly. Um... Alright, so these are new syllables that we've most recently learned. So these we should not have as much trouble with. Um, so we have so, and we have su, and I'm trying to remember, is the first one sa? You think I would remember? Well, that's gotta hurt. Maybe I should doubly attack it. Oh! Oh, that hurts. Uh, I don't have a revive. Wow. Okay. That's the game showing me that uh, perhaps I've overstayed my welcome in this particular area. It's mercy killing me. Which is lovely. But it's doing so on an occasion where I'm actually performing okay. But perhaps this is some kind of karma for what previously transpired. At any rate, we will have to go back to the village. I don't suppose, um, yeah, Eric does not gain EXP from that. That was a lot of EXP. Okay, we're going back. Sorry, Eric. Um, we need to recover. Is Eric still down? Yes, he is. We are going to flee. Funny enough, Eric flees with us, even though he was just, like, stuck in the ground. Alright. Here's our nice little village. Um, we can stay at our inn, perhaps. At least that seems like a sort of thing that we should do. Yeah, 10 yen for a night. It's a nice, modest charge. Alright, and I think that'll make all our characters feel better. Um, and since, you know, I did poorly, I think it's appropriate we... St oh, what's this? Yeah, okay. It's glowing for some reason, but not because there's something to offer. Here, let's revise our lesson. Uh, let's go over all of our lessons again. The first five hiragana characters. The short vowels. They are a, i, u, e, o. Alright. See, so I've written them above. Let's go through them one by one. This is a. 
Oh, I remember seeing this one in Yu Yu Hakusho. I actually do remember it. Um, it's pronounced ah. It's a short vowel. Let's practice writing it. All right, so we do a cross, and then we do down, and then we do around. Kind of resembles a treble clef. Not really, but kind of. One more time. So cross, down, and around. Now it's your turn. It's a good idea to write the character multiple times. Write it small and large to get it perfect. Here's some tips for you. The horizontal line is slightly curved. You should draw the character in three separate strokes. Get ready for the next e. character, E. It's the equivalent of the vowel I in English. You pronounce e. it as E. It's a short vowel. Let's practice writing it. So I recognize this vowel because it's two separate strokes that are in no way connected, but they're also parallel. Like that has quite a pronounced effect on me. Leftmost stroke, rightmost stroke. Some tips. First line is slightly longer and both lines are slightly curved. Next character. Mm. This is U. It's vowel U in English. You pronounce it as U. Mm. U is a short vowel. Let's practice writing it. Oh, the top and then this is kind of like a bass clef. I wonder. There can't be a deliberate uh, resemblance. Still, I have to wonder, but it's just for my own lack of familiarity with um, the orthography of it. Mm. This is eh. Ah, uh, this is the one I couldn't remember. Mm. Yeah, it's a short vowel. Let's practice writing it. It seems like a lot of marks for a pretty short vowel. But again, this is uh, hiragana, so it's quite explicit about the sounds you produce. This isn't kanji, um, and so um, this is more about how you pronounce things. Just make this in two strokes. Oh, oh. this is the one uh, that we failed in the battle because I, well, I forgot. Um, so cross, down, and over. So this, not to be confused with ah, oh, and then has a marking in the upper right, which is not daitukin, it's just um, a marking there. Cross, stroke number two, and stroke number two continues, and then stroke number three. And that's oh. The vertical line is to the left of the character, not in the center. Um, the vertical line is to the left of the character, not in the center. The vertical line. What vertical line? Are they talking... I'm very confused about what they're referring to there. Because I do see a vertical line. Um, oh, I'm sorry. What it's trying to say is that the vertical line is not in the center of the character. It is on the left side of the character. A, E, U, E, O. This is A, E, U, E, O. All right. A E I O U. A E U E O. That concludes our first lesson. Okay, let's revise lesson number two. The Ka series. Ka, Ki, Ko, Ke. No. Ku. No, I got that wrong. Ka, Ki, Ku, Ke, Ko. Ka, ki, 
This one looks familiar. Ku ke ko. The game periodically brings this one up just to remind you that it's different from E. Um, let's pronounce each of these. They're very commonly used in Japanese. Since each character represents a syllable instead of a single letter, you can form Japanese words quite quickly. Ka. This is ka. It's a consonant followed by a vowel and makes up a single syllable. You pronounce ka. it ka. Let's practice writing it. This is making me think that in future plays of this game, um, I should revise these studies at the beginning of a given session. One more time. In order to benefit the most. Or maybe I should do more external le learning outside of this uh, game. Some tips for Ka. You should draw the character in three separate strokes. Be careful to how the lines pay careful attention to how the lines tilt. Be sure to place the third stroke in the correct place. Here for our next character. Ki. It's a constant vowel by vowel and makes up a single syllable, pronounced ki. Let's practice writing it. So, oh, it's actually across, across, down, and then marking four. Or stroke four. Now these bottom strokes could be connected. Stroke one, parallel stroke two, stroke three, and stroke four. This is a uh, key. It can be written in three or four strokes. The tail can be split into two strokes in some fonts. Use the animated example as the best practice. Good. Good. It's a consonant followed by vowel, pronounced Good. Good. Let's practice writing it. So we've done ka, ki, ku. It's this one. <coughs> One more time. This looks like a western symbol. Um, the upper and lower half are the same length for ke. Let's get ready for the next character. Ke. ke. It's a consonant followed by a vowel and makes up a single syllable. Ke. ke. So, we do our left stroke, and then we do a cross and down. So I'm noticing in general we do the horizontal strokes before the vertical strokes, in general. If there can be a general principle. Um, when there are multiple strokes that intersect. We tend to do the horizontal ones first. The third stroke is longer than the first. Be sure to curve the third stroke as it finishes. Ko. 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 All right. So we do our top stroke and our bottom stroke, and that's ko. Now that's a term I've actually heard fighting for ko in the game of Go. Um, I wonder what it means outside of the game of Go, if anything. Ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. They're quite commonly used, so be sure to remember them. You can learn um, uh, daituken, or dakuten, or tenten. Dakuten are little symbols that look like the above image, and they transform a symbol into another symbol or transform a syllable into another syllable. So there's ga, there's gi, there's gu, ge, and go. Thank goodness for these. Um, yeah, so let's resume our adventure, having revised all our characters at least once today. Um, let us go uh, back to the farm, 
and hopefully not have our characters die horribly in battle. Have them die less horribly, if we can. We'll see how far we can get with this farm. Alright. So these are what we learned at the start of today's session. Which were Saw? And she? So I can remember things, at least short term, it's just my long term memory, which appears to be less than I had perfect, we'll say. There we go. Ah, Eric's catching up with the rest of us. Alright, so let's go to this treasure chest. Even though it's heavily raining, we should be able to collect the treasures without too much difficulty. Alright, so there's she, and then I think that was Su. I could be misremembering. Um. Was that Se? I think that was Se. We'll find out. We will find out very shortly if my memory has failed me once more. <laughs> if all my characters die, though, we'll say that this has been an effective learning session. The threat of peril to the characters does um, motivate a person to try to do better. Although surely better motivations could be had. Or better motives could be produced. A heavy coat. Oh, I forgot to equip my stuff. I'm gonna go equip stuff. Uh, Eric, you look like you could use a coat. Actually, Misaki could use it. So, um, yeah, Misaki is um, our scholar in our group. She needs the coat. Um, that said, Eric might. Okay, yeah, Eric Bennett fits from the leather vest. Uh, how about Claire? Claire's doing just fine. And Leon? Wait, so we got the Iron Knuckle, didn't we? Did we not get an Iron... Oh, it's equipped. So I still can't see what's in my inventory. That's a bit unfortunate. Um, but yeah, at least our characters are well equipped at this point. Alright, so we got Sa. So and so. Oops. There's Sue. Don't sue me. All right. So Sa and Sa and Sue and Sue. And our last one, I'm pretty sure, is So. I wonder. Um, there's got to be ways to improve the combat system to better reinforce the learning. Although this is, again, the threat of peril, uh, the peril to your characters does motivate you to try to do better. But there's nothing inherent in the combat system which makes it any more effective than some other system of learning, as far as I can see. Um... Maybe there is something. I do admire the visual novel aspect of the game, but the combat system leaves something to be desired, I think. Oh, 
Alright, we've almost leveled up again. So our journey has almost become slightly easier. Man, what's with these animals out here? Can we side quest? Is there no side questing out here? Apparently there's nothing to side quest for there. Ah! It's locked. Let me try. I forgot about this part. <sighs> Checking barrels or crates. Something like that. Yeah, I forgot I had to do this. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we had Zeh, but there's a modifier, so that makes that Zeh. There's Dakuten, I believe it's called, and then there's So up here. That's actually Sue. Just kidding. And there's no going back after you mess something up. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be a very um, culturally thing to do, would it? I heard, at least in the game of Go and in other games, you're not supposed to undo your moves after having done them. Um, and such is the case with this game as well. After you've committed to an action, uh, there's no picking a different action. Um, but no, that's Sue, right there. Alright, so one of you gets to attack first. And there you go. Alright, level up. Oh, we're one EXP short of a level. Which is great. Um, we didn't need that EXP anyway. But yeah, no, I remembered only now you have to go all the way around the farm to get to that barrel in the upper left. Because um, I have been to this part before. So, the top one would be key, except it's modified. Um, so that's Gi. Um, the last of these is E. Eh. And this is going to be time to try to remember... I think the center one is Ah? If I remember right. I know we just went over it. It was one of our five vowels. I just don't remember which one. But I'm pretty sure it was Ah. Oh! <laughs> well, that was surprisingly effective against um, character syllable number three. Um, no, I think this is Ah. Uh, I'm like almost entirely certain. So if I get this wrong, I'll be embarrassed. Leon guards. Eric guards. Claire gives the answer. And does so incorrectly. Was this Ka? I know we just went over this one. Um. Let's try the Ka. There we go. That wasn't completely off base. Awaken and Antidote have been learned, presumably as spells. Which is good, because I think, if I remember right, I've seen like two minutes of a playthrough of somebody actually playing inside the barn. And Antidote seems like a useful thing to know. Um, so this is uh, she. And the other one is Se. Alright. I think I got this correct. I'm 
me try reloading my stream just to make sure that like it's displaying properly and stuff that I'm actually capturing the game. I know I looked at this and verified it earlier, but um Okay. So it appears this I can't seem to view my stream. I'm having a networking error. How do I verify that the stream is live? I am actually troubled by this. I should be able to view my stream and verify that it is in fact going. Um, here, let me pause the game for a second. Uh, it appears that what was previously capturing is no longer capturing. I don't know. Somehow I can't see it, but OBS... Oh, there it is. Wow. Okay, so it is... At least at right now it is live. I'm not sure if you were able to observe everything earlier, because nobody's been saying anything, but... Um... Yeah, it's only disconcerting from the perspective that I have been going for quite some time here. And in my entire session here, nobody said a single word. So that makes me wonder... Even though people are dropping in and out of here, and understandably so, because this is like Japanese, this is hiragana um, battle. Um, I'm just concerned about the possibility that maybe you might not be able to view it. But it seems to be working. Also, it seems that Leon's got 25 HP remaining. Oh, I should rethink my layout for this particular game. Um, where would I put the chat window, ideally? Oh, there goes Leon. <laughs> Alright, well, I think with Leon falling, and the fact that I'm actually getting some of these correct, I think that's a sign that maybe I should try to wrap things up here, and we'll continue our barn adventure some other day. Like, it's most unfortunate that uh, Leon is down. Um, and I remember having similar frustrations last time I tried to play this, but evidently my last time I tried to play this... Uh, wait, is that Leon saying we're saved? That's great. Um... But yeah, last time I attempted to play this game, um, what happened? I'm not going to back down from fights right now. I probably should, because I'm down a character. Um, and because it's repeating the same battles over and over. Uh, but yeah, last time, apparently it didn't save my save file. And maybe I lost my video as well? I don't remember. I'll really have to take a look and highlight some videos today, see how things are going. Um, I will highlight this, believe it or not, because I think I'm enjoying this. As much of a challenge as I'm having with this because of my lack of due diligence um, with studying, I think it's still good to try to establish a routine and get back into this. It's been a long time since I've played this game. And I think I can pick it up and be successful with this game if I stick to a better routine with it. Um, so, rather than purchasing stuff, we're just going to visit the inn again. And they still charge 10 yen a night? Yeah, that's not bad. Although you think, with their characters being down so often, maybe the innkeeper would give us a bit of a look and say, you sure you know what you're doing out there? Here, let's save. And let's make it into the farm and um, I guess uh, having visited the farm we can call it a day because I know the farm itself is kind of a large um, uh, stage to clear. And I think this would be a reasonable time to wrap up and have something to eat, at least. So we could focus 
better on the game next time we focus, and we can reinforce the things that we learned today. Although I do appreciate here that it is giving me new um, battles. I'm sorry, it's giving me new uh, syllables to fight against. So there's G. It's this one. And the other one is Zo. Come on. Also, I'm curious. Some of you surely have... Um, well, somebody watching this surely has some experience uh, with Japanese typography. I can't have an audience that keeps coming and going, coming and going, and like, of all the people that visit at some point, at least one person has to have some familiarity with Japanese. I would think. And perhaps that person could give me tips as to like, how people manage to type Japanese on a romanized keyboard. Like, I've seen keyboards that have, um, oh, what's... I don't even know what you'd call it. Japanese sort of typography on them. Oh, really? I think you're pulling my leg, but I'm going to assume that you're actually telling me the truth. Because um, it would be rude for me to assume otherwise. So, and if, um, <laughs> oh man, yeah, no, I had to, um, right, it was only a few pages, and, um, wow, I'm impressed, um, honestly. Now, throughout this stream, I... So last time I played this, I got to the farm, and somehow my game crashed, or I don't remember what. I have a very fuzzy memory of exactly what happened, other than I somehow magically know all the characters that we learned last time, and I obtained the farmhouse key last time, and I saw this scene. And perhaps what I was doing, perhaps it wasn't me playing, perhaps I was watching somebody else play this particular stage. Um, I don't remember. It looks like whoever lived here made a speedy getaway uh, when the Hiragana warriors invaded. The place is completely deserted. I think you're right. We should take a look around anyway. Alright, so I had intended to wrap up, but now I've got um, Cormac here, and I think he'd enjoy if I continued playing. Although, I, I've kind of left us at a bad point here, haven't I? where you've tossed out your few pages here. Um, yeah, the letters or syllables we learned the first time were the short vowels. Uh, a, E, U, E, O. As well as the Ka series and the... Uh, I think that was it. And this time we learned the Sa series, although I thought I did that previously. I don't remember. At any point, uh, at any rate, what I'm trying to say, while I keep repeatedly interrupting my statements, um, is that um, I struggled with all the first uh, 15 syllables that I'd learned during this particular stream, and I had to go back and relearn everything. Um, so if you go back like a half hour, 20 minutes, I don't remember. You'll find me going back through all the characters, but there were, again, were only 15 of them. Um, yeah, A, I, U, E, O, Ka, Ki, Ku, Ka, Ko. And uh, this session I've relearned the Gi series, the one starting with G. Um, I'm sorry, no, the one starting with S, which can be modified to be the Z series syllables. Um, yeah, so I don't know whether I should back up or drop this and we can come back and resync at some point. And next time I stream this, I am going to have to relearn all the letters anyway, because I think that's going to help me reinforce what I've learned. Um, so I don't know how far I should take this. 
I did spend part of this uh, session also just, um, what's it? It's the sa and chi are those two syllables. Um, spent part of this just purchasing equipment and doing vocabulary on the side and such too. So if you prefer, I could just wrap things up at some point in the barn here, or take this to the end of the farm scene, and then wrap it up, and, and next time I'll pick up and relearn all the letters, but again, I don't really do a good job of announcing my streams in advance, because they're not really scheduled. I'm trying to figure out how could I do things so they could be easily followed. Maybe I'll just do a separate stream, just make a VOD just for learning um, all the syllables. You bored enough just to watch just about anything. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen my attempt to play chess the other day. It was pretty abysmal. Um, so you remember, or you might remember our top character there. Uh, that would be Key. Um, the one you see in a martial arts uniform, but it's modified with uh, Dakuten, the double quote mark. So instead of being Ki, that would be Gi. Um, this also has, allows me to slow down the pace of how I'm doing things. And that bottom symbol is E. Eh, um, our short vowel for E. It's pretty recognizable, and if you've seen, like, uh, anime with subs or subtitles, you'll find out that um, sometimes some characters will say eh, and they'll put like this big string at this letter that looks like a Z all right next to each other. Um, Alright, so um, it's worth noting your characters lock in their attacks, so it's apparently it's best for me to target all the syllables if I can. Um, I think this one was Ka. Pretty sure this was Ka. So we're going to send two people out to fight that and have the other two guard. And I wish this guarding animation just immediately took effect and didn't say character guards, character guards, because that's kind of not so exciting to see the word character guards over and over. Also, I should heal up Eric. I really should heal Eric. Um, let's see, can we do that? Skill. Was it Claire that had a skill? Bless? That's not quite what I was looking for. Misaki. Awaken, Antidote, and Bless. Um, Alright. I guess that's fine. And... Let Claire practice some magic, too. Well, that's pretty cool, though. I don't have to, like, expend items in order to heal. So, I this, I think, is where I left off. Although, perhaps I had to visit the bookshelf or something? I forget. I thought I visited the bookshelf and tried to access it. And I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. Um... But yeah, my attempt to play chess the other day, um, uh, I was playing the classical shield tournament or something, just a couple silly games. Uh, so, Sa. Center one is Su. We learned all these Sa, Su, So today. And just guard. Um,. But yeah, as I was playing the classical tournament, I was um, playing much too quickly, and ended up playing a uh, gambit and not recognizing that it was a gambit, uh, which is pretty exciting. Go figure. The one time I directly attack my opponents without like doubling up on them, um, they don't fall in one hit. Maybe these characters are more resilient than the other ones. Maybe not. Maybe it's just my attacking skills vary from character to character. Um, OK. 
Okay, we're going to have Misaki guard. You are going to answer Sa for this, and you're going to answer Su for the center syllable. Um, so yeah, I ended up gambiting a pawn, and then just gambited more and more pawns to try to make the position confusing. Um, and even though I did manage to make it kind of interesting, like, it was the worst suffering I've seen in any of my chess games in a few years. Um, like, there is one level of suffering in chess where you just make a blunder and it's just over. There's another where you actually have to fight out the entire game. Um, and then... You had no chances throughout the entire game, but you had to fight it out anyway. Because that, that's what chess players do. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I streamed it, but at least I did it um, on Lee Chess. Alright, so what the heck. Um, quests? Yeah, we cleared all of our quests for... Learning how to ask a person their age, uh, learning what some famous or popular Japanese drinks are, uh, enjoying a three-course meal and learning some words related to food, and greetings. So those were all exciting side quests. Wait, sh no quests in progress, all completed. No failed quests, notably. So I'm doing something right, but... At the same time, I'm not finding whatever it is I'm supposed to be finding here. And I'm very flustered that, like, I don't know where I'm supposed to look. Okay, I'm gonna start running away from battles. Until I can figure out how to progress the plot. Because I'm pretty sure there's nothing for me to explore outside. And I thought I explored that front area. And I remember not getting far last time I was here. But I remember making some progress, or seeing somebody else make progress, I don't remember. Yeah, I did do a number of things on... S I mean, could be that I've forgotten to. I'm not ruling out that possibility, because I've had so many things I've done recently, but... I think I did that one off-stream. I could be mistaken, though. It wouldn't put it past me to mess that up. Oh! This is a door. This little cherry thing in the wall. It's another locked door. Here, try the same key we found before. Doesn't work, dum-dum. Alright, I have a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna double back and try the front door. Doop, 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 doop. Of course, now he tries the front door. Oh, <gasps> it's locked! Oh my goodness! Plot twist. All right. So, who saw that coming? Doop 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 doop. Why did he even try the front door? Like, we're completely trapped. Stay calm, Liam. There will be another key around here. Start searching. Check all the crates and barrels first. Or, you know, use that axe you have, the one you've been using against all of the hiragana, and target the door. Like, what's the door made of? Animantium? Mithril? Like, what What could the door possibly be made of that um, it couldn't be opened? But no, seriously, if I remember right, and this, again, could just be me having looked at a person playing this. Um, Alright, so we got some new symbols. So the top one will be Su, except that's modified to become um, Zhu. Or Zhu. Um, and the middle one is G. And the bottom one is sad, but that's Z. Uh, I think that's right. Have you looked at the map on the wall? 
start a fire at the base of the door. See, you could do that, except it's raining. So, starting a fire might be challenging. In this... I wasn't paying attention. Did I get the middle one right? <laughs> Ooh, that hurts. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I did get that right. I still wasn't paying attention to the other one, though. I got too engrossed in our lovely chat here. <laughs> Uh, oh, I don't have a lot of MP. Here, just guard. You offer support. And Eric. Um, Z. And Z. Yeah, so I'm just saying, like, in this watery weather, um, starting a fire at the base of the door might be challenging. But note that there's all these glass windows. Are these locked? I'm just thinking maybe the, artists, the artwork might be inconsistent. We're getting a lot of money though from all these fights. It's locked. Dun dun dun. Alright, now I thought the key is somewhere around here. What's this? A piece of paper. It says, I am unclean. Please wash me. <sighs> a river. A sink. Now let's look for a river, guys. We can find a river in here if we just look hard enough. We just have to believe. Alright. Oh, we got new... Alright, good. So we got E... Uh, we've got... Ke? And the last one, I think, is Go? Let's try that. Oh! Very nice. I didn't expect that to go down in one hit. Because lately Claire and Misaki have not been hitting for as much damage as Eric and Leon have been hitting for. There we go. I think I finally... <laughs> Leon is still awaiting his next level. Very patiently. But that's what he gets for suggesting that we try to find a river. Come on, please? Alright, so... Um, the bottom one is... Ka? No. Middle one is Ku. Top one... No, top... Uh, bottom one is Ko. No. ay ay ay. Our center syllable here is ko, or ku. Um, our top one looks like a or ka. I'm forgetting whether that's a or ka. But it's also got duck ten on it, so it's not the base syllable, it's the modified version. So either that is um, the modified A, uh, which is oh, there is no modified A. Uh. So we're taking that and making it into Ga. And our bottom one, I thought that's oh, isn't it? Only because I think that's the one I failed repeatedly today. So that's cool. That's not cool. Let's try O here. Excellent. And Ka. Or Ga. I'm doing a lot better at this. Gotta say.
Now, whether that's justified or not, uh, it, it's not. Um, my spine is bent, but I am not hurt. I know many words, but I cannot speak. Ages have passed, by w but my wisdom is as new. Find me, and I'll pass on a thing or two. Hmm. I'm trying to make a joke out of this somehow, and just not finding a joke to have. A bent spine, knowing many words. Um, I want to say, like, a skeleton? A chair? Oh! No, no, no. It has to be a book, right? Yeah, that's pretty funny. That is hilarious. Why, why a chair? Why a chair? A chair, right? My wisdom is new, I've got a spine, you know. No, it's not a chair. Sorry. Alright, so we got Coop. We've got... Um, bottom one is O. Top one, I believe, is Ga. And we're just going to guard for action number four, because I think... I think I got this. I could be wrong. I often am, but... No, often I'm also right. Beautiful. I'm actually acing this. Now, if I had to read real hiragana and not just... Uh, okay, we gotta find the book. Not just the stuff printed this game with this particular font. Maybe I'd struggle a bit more. This book looks a bit out of place. Ah, there's a key pressed between the pages. Time to escape. Alright. I want to try the... Well, I do want to try the bottom door. But I really should try the top door. Um, yeah, so we have so and sa. I've got to say, this way of selecting answers is a little cumbersome, but it forces you to think, I guess. Or at least it categorizes everything into nice little boxes, so you can see... Um... The progression of this, uh, the characters, or the progression of the syllables that you learned, rather. Yeah! We gained some expa. Good old expa. Really, another battle. Alright. Sue and Se. I guess it's just really trying to enforce um, whether or not you've learned things. And I guess um, the more battles, the more reinforcement there is? I wonder. But also there's a saying that like anything you learn after the first half an hour or an hour of repeated practice is not something you're going to retain in long-term memory. Um, I forget who mentioned that, ironically enough. But... I guess this game tries to break up all the learning with all these other in-between story bits. But there don't seem to be very many, uh, the story bits. They are hilarious when they do occur, but... It just seems like there are better ways for me to study this. So that's Za and Z uh, Zu. Zazu, like the bird. That probably flew everyone's over... Probably flew over everybody's head, just like Zazu does. All right. Yeah, no, I think any form of practice is quite effective, but this one's perhaps enjoyable. Um, but I don't know of its efficacy as compared to like any other form of practice. 
probably other forms are more efficacious. Um, just in terms of like raw results. Alright, so I was gonna try the door. I have no attention span anymore. Is that it? Is there a side quest? Wow. That's a large ship. Yeah, I bet we could travel just about anywhere with that. Anywhere? Hmm. That gives me an idea. Uh-oh. What were you thinking? I wonder. Could we visit a place I like to call Japan? Not just me, but a lot of people like to call that place Japan. Whoa, could we? The ship would definitely be enough to take us there. However, we still have work to do there. We can't leave the country with so many hiragana warriors roaming free. That's a good point, so what do we do? Let's return to Snowleaf Village for today. I'll come up with more lessons and continue to teach you. One day we'll be ready to sail the ship to Japan. When we get there, I can show you so many wonderful things. Oh. Oh. Great! Not a prompt. <laughs> uh, modern game design would call for a prompt right then and there. If for no other reason than to ask, do you want to save your progress? Which, yes, indeed, I would like to save my progress. I would definitely like to save. Um... But also, just a prompt to say, are you done looking at this map, and c should we go now? Or is there anything we want to discuss before we went back? Um, okay. Well, I guess we could go hang out at the kitchen. Or not the kitchen, hang out at the bar or whatever this area is. Uh, any last words here? It's good practice for sure. I think we've learned a lot today. Again, it's been at least six months. Now it's been more. My goodness. It's been forever since I last played this. Um, and it's good for me to get back into playing it. And maybe at some point I could progress further with this. Learn more syllables. Maybe bring the game to conclusion at some point. And maybe pick up Japanese, um, not just hiragana, but pick up more um, than this. But every uh, journey begins with the smaller steps. So we'll do, handle things one day at a time here. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I know it took me a while to get back into enjoying this. I was very frustrated with myself at the beginning of this. Um, I grossly overestimated my ability with this, and the game kind of encourages you to build confidence. And then it'll send you out into this drill mode where you're doing combat all the time, and it puts your confidence to the test. And it's great that it gives you some confidence, but I kind of wish... well, I don't know, it's certainly I'm getting my money's worth with the game, but I... I I think that there's a potential to appeal to a Western audience to an even greater extent and improve upon this game. Um, but I know it would also require a tremendous effort on the part of the instructor. And many people don't just learn Japanese for amusement, so... Um, anyway, I think, yeah, we did learn a lot today. We finally got back in the swing of things by the end of this. Come next time, we'll see how much of what we've learned today I'm actually going to retain. Um, but yeah, I think it's been a good session. And I apologize to anybody offended by my terrible uh, struggles with Japanese. Um, I was polite to this dude up here, who was proud of speaking good English. And if ever I get good at speaking Japanese, or understanding Japanese, Hopefully, I can return the favor by not speaking um, in this particular manner. We'll see. Um, 
Yeah, it's a bit slow and clunky, but otherwise it's excellent as an educational tool. I think children would enjoy this. And the fact that I enjoy this at all suggests that um, I'm... Uh, I'm struggling with the English word for this, as well as the Latin word that I was looking for. Docile is the word I'm looking for. I'm easily led around. Just, yeah, having a good time, enjoying this. I wonder how well like this particular dialogue shows up on the stream. I'm going to take a quick look at that, because we'll try to fix that for next time if this doesn't quite capture, but I think it does. In any event, yeah, I think it's been a good session. Um, we've learned a lot here. We'll continue learning more in the future. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Um, hope we've learned more together. I apologize to Cormac for him um, having discarded his notes and me not giving him a heads up that I was going to resume this game. I do like to try to bring my things to conclusion. Um, only because I have a habit of not doing so. So it's very good for me to try to complete things. And I will attempt to do so with this. And I will return to Shenzhen IO at another time and try to complete that as well. I'm not sure if I'll get back to TIS 100. We'll see. But yeah, thanks for stopping by. It's been fun. I've really appreciated it. And uh, have a good night.